Welcome in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to a brief devotional from the Christmas story from God's Word to enhance your Advent journey to a celebration of Jesus' birth. On Jordan's bank, the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. God bless you this day. A devotion for Friday, December 11th, 2020. Seeing. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Luke 1, 46 through 49 Do you see me? This is a question a lot of people would like to ask God. We know that we are so little, so lowly, in a vast universe filled with terrible, wonderful, glorious things. Why should God be concerned with us? Some people feel this so strongly that they refuse to believe in Jesus. They can't get over the idea that God would actually see them, would actually care. But Mary knows the truth, humble as she is. She knows that God has done the unthinkable. He has taken notice of her, even her, and he has chosen her. And so, like Hagar before her, Genesis 16, she says, God has seen me. God has even looked on me and seen my situation. I matter to the living God. You matter to the living God. Though he is high and lifted up, glorious above all the heavens, he has come near to you. He has come into your world as a human being just like you, one who shares your suffering, knows your fears and griefs, carries your guilt and shame. Why? Because little as you are, he loves you. He wants you to be his own. He will give you life forever because you trust in him and you are his. You are blessed. Let us pray. Lord, help me truly to trust in you that you see me and love me. Amen. Reflect and discuss. Number one. Have you ever felt that you didn't matter? I think that's common for everybody. At times we look around and see how little we are as compared to the millions, even billions of people in this world right now, let alone all the people who have ever been in creation. It seems impossible that a God of the entire universe could ever notice us. It seems like we are like God tells Abraham, like a star in the heavens, or a grain of sand on a seashore. Number two, is being seen by God always a good thing, do you think? Well, of course, there are times when we would just as soon not be seen by God, when we are doing things that we know won't please Him. And I think maybe that's the thing that bothers most people. They would rather stay ambiguous they would rather stay anonymous, unknown to God. In fact, when John writes in his prologue about Jesus coming into the world, he says that Jesus is the light of the world, but that men seek darkness because they want to hide what they're doing. They're afraid of the light. And like John says, there are times when all of us are afraid to be seen by God. 
Number three, how do you know that God sees and cares about you? That's something that comes to us many times in many different ways. We all have that experience when we know that God is aware of us individually. Whether we pray for something that seems impossible and then it is granted, or if it is simply just in our day-to-day -day life, when we know that someone is watching over us, is caring for us, and all the things that happen to us. Even though we are in trouble at times, and even though there are problems at times, we can tell that someone is looking out for us. May the God of all eternity bless you on this day as you go on your way. This has been a brief daily devotion provided by Lutheran Hour Ministries. We pray that this devotion will bless your day. All praise, eternal Son, to Thee, whose heaven set Thy people free, whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Spirit. Help.